This is a subsea internet cable. Around a million miles of these cables run across the oceans in order to make this big machine called the internet work. So what happens when the cables snap? In March, countries along the coast of West Africa lost internet. Hospitals couldn't locate patients' records. Employers couldn't pay uh, their employees. There were rumors of a coup. There were rumors that sabotage had taken place and people had to go looking for answers. These cables run past Ivory Coast and they also land there. The cables go through a canyon that begins near the coastline and then plunges seaward and gets deeper and deeper. The canyon is called Trou Sans Fond, which means the bottomless hole. On March 14th, an avalanche gets set loose in the bottomless hole, and as it's coming down that canyon, one by one, the cables snap. There are so many ways that the internet can physically break. You can have an earthquake. You can have anchors that pass by and pick these cables up and tear them in pieces. Fishing trawlers can do it, and you can even have sabotage. Fixing these cables is really an incredible operation. I mean, you have to have a fleet of repair ships sitting by to find them and fix it. Sometimes they'll send a remotely operated vehicle with a camera down to the bottom of the sea. Once they find the break in the cable, they have to bring that cable back up to the surface, then delicately fuse them back together, drop it back down into the uh, ocean, and make sure that it's still carrying signals. Any incident like this is a wake-up call for the countries, the organizations, the companies, and the people involved. The solution that you hear most often is build more cables because you want to have a backup if one cable breaks. The problem with that is you'll have a number of cables in the same spot or near the same spot under the sea. So if you have a disturbance, you're often going to cut multiple cables. The subsea cables are so important, but at the same time, they're so vulnerable when you pick up your phone and you ask for information. I hope people realize that.